as the roar of this rushing water frightening for James Pruitt and his girlfriend Cheryl. Have you ever seen the water like this before? No, not this bad. No. How would you describe no. this? It's a nightmare. <laughs> so is the amount of debris and snow melt now making its way underneath the shop attached to their house. I have a car in there, a motorcycle and some stuff in there. You know, um, stuff that I don't want to lose all my tools in there. The couple first noticed the problem during a series of storms about two weeks ago. Our home is the main one that's getting infected, but also the, that one that's on the end that you've seen there. Yeah, but they just they just finished remodeling that house. They tell me the flooding got worse just in the last couple of days, and they believe a concrete slab put in underneath this bridge to protect a water pipe is causing the water to back up. But that's not making room for the logs to go through. So, you know, and that's what the problem is. There's nowhere for the water logs to go through. The Calaveras County Water District has a maintenance facility right on the other side of this road. It tells me that half of the road has now eroded away because of the amount of runoff. And it's concerned about a water pipeline being in jeopardy because it serves about 2,000 people here in the community. Today, workers came out to monitor that pipeline and a new one recently built next to it. And a spokesperson told me over the phone the district just took emergency action action to shift the water from the old pipeline to the new one so that service wouldn't be disrupted. In Arnold, Linda Muma, KCRA 3 News.